Legislators and pro-life advocates will pack the Capitol today for a March for Life rally. Fox 43 Sayara Williams joins us this morning in Harrisburg with more on what organizers are asking for. Good morning, Sayara. Good morning. So the March for Life rally brings in hundreds of pro-life advocates from across the state, as well as some Senate and Republic, or excuse me, Senate and House uh, representatives. And they're asking people to come out today and uh, advocate for state policies that impact the human rights as well as dignity for people unborn and born. Now, the Pennsylvania Family Institute, one of the many organizations that's taking part in the march, is an organization that prides itself on restoring the traditional and foundational principles to Pennsylvania families. The policy analyst with PA Family Institute says this March will shed light on, quote, pregnancy resource centers that are available to women who may not know what they are. She says pregnancy resource centers are places for women to find them that might find themselves in difficult and unexpected pregnancies or just need some kind of help. Now, overall, the March today will bring attention to what organizers say are dangers to women and unborn children who undergo abortion. I think some of the strongest pro-life advocates actually used to be part of the abortion industry and what caused them to switch is understanding the humanity of the unborn child and understanding how abortion hurts women and how abortion can destroy life. Now, the March for Life rally kicks off at 11 a.m. today at the state capitol complex with pre-rally events taking place starting at 9 a.m. And hundreds of people will be gathered here today, some including uh, Senator Kristen Phillips-Hill, as well as Senator Michelle Brooks and Representative Josh Kale. Now, Jackie, we did reach out to Planned Parenthood for their comments on this event. Yeah, that's right, Sayara. And the executive says in a statement that Quote, access to the full spectrum of sexual and reproductive health care is a matter of personal liberty, privacy, and autonomy. The opposition will do and say anything to paint a false narrative about abortion, but we know the facts. They continue to say abortion is common, safe, and legal in the state of Pennsylvania, and we're going to continue fighting to keep it that way, end quote. Details of a counter rally, though, have not been released. If you want information on both March for Life and Planned Parenthood mission outlines, they can be found on fox43.com.